Hey, it's Coach Nick Tuminello. I'm here with figure athlete Deanna Avery. We're here at the Institute of Human Performance in sunny Florida, and I'm gonna show you a smarter way or a variation that we do recline rows. Some people call these inverted rows. So by using this invar inverted fat bar pad, Deanna's gonna set up the same way she would normally do the row. We're gonna go wide elbow. The reason why we go wide elbow is to emphasize more mid-back, which is where people are commonly weak, kind of like reverse that sitting posture. And as she pulls up, she's gonna pull up until she touches the pad. She's gonna pause for a second, and then she's gonna come back down. Now as a coach, I'm making sure that she leads with her chest, she doesn't lead with her hips. If her hips are the first thing that comes up, then she's doing it mostly from her low back and she's extending from her hips. I don't want that. I want her to pull herself up using her mid-back muscles. So the nice thing about this pad, the same thing we did with the bent over row. If she didn't have the pad, so go ahead and have a seat for a second, Deanna, let's take the pad off. Notice this is a very fat pad. Okay, go ahead and do them now, same thing, wide elbow. In order for her to touch that same part on her chest, she's gotta pull up so much higher and she has to start, look at where her wrists are going now, she has to start getting a little internal rotation. It's actually too far and it's much easier for her to start putting extra pressure on her wrist and unwanted pressure through her elbows. So the nice thing about that pad is it has her pulling just the correct distance to emphasize her mid-back muscles, give her the feedback that she needs to touch it every time, give me the visual cue I need to know that she's getting each and every rep perfect, and as soon as she can't touch the pad, I know she's done. Whereas when she comes up here, we've had a lot of people getting sore elbows, sore wrists, and a lot of stress where we don't want it.